to highlight uh, a story we will continue to be updating you on throughout the coming weeks here. Elizabeth Holmes entered a U.S. federal court in San Jose this morning, charged by the Department of Justice with two counts of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and 10 counts of wire fraud. Her attorneys had years to prepare as the pandemic and the birth of Holmes' child put this trial on a three-year hiatus. No stranger to the spotlight, Holmes became a Silicon Valley icon when she founded the medical testing biotech company Theranos at the age of 19 and growing it to a $9 billion company. But a 2015 investigation exposed the technology didn't work and the company then dissolved. Here's the question now, did Holmes know about these problems and deceive investors, doctors and patients? The defense will of course claim that she is innocent. Today was jury selection. Fox 2's Evan Cernofsky has been following that all day and joins us now live with details. Evan. That's right, there were 200 prospective jurors in this case and already they let nine go because they weren't vaccinated. Now another 30 were cut for personal reasons. So what they're doing is they're looking at the remainder of the panel and seeing how much they really know about this case going into it. And it turns out that almost everybody here in Sil Silicon Valley knows something about the case. The jurors they polled today said they can still remain fair and impartial in the case. Now, Elizabeth Holmes arrived this morning in federal court here in San Jose. Uh, she's facing, as you mentioned earlier, 12 counts, including wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Prosecute, prosecutors, excuse me, with the U.S. Attorney's Office have accused her of defrauding investors and patients when she took over $700 million in investment capital. She claimed that her technology, the Edison machine, could conduct complex tests with only a few drops of blood. Now, the jurors were also asked if they were involved with intimate partner abuse, and several of them revealed that they have loved ones who were in abusive relationships, and now this will likely strike at the core of Holmes's defense. Unsealed court records revealed that she plans to accuse her former partner and boyfriend, Sonny Balwani, of abuse during the period of the charged crimes. Balwani has denied the accusations from Holmes, and he's set to be tried separately early next year. Now, this jury selection process will continue this week, leading into next week when opening statements are set to start. Back to you. Yeah, so Evan, you bring up an interesting point. Uh, Balwani's trial will be completely separate. Uh, you mentioned that's going to be a major part of the defense. How so? What is their plan? What are people talking about? How is that going to look moving forward in the trial? All right, so what's happening here is something that attorneys call an empty chair theory. So by separating the two defendants, each defendant actually will have an opportunity to point at the chair next to them and say, hey, it wasn't me that committed the, these crimes, it was that person. Now, Holmes filed these motions early in 2020 saying that she was a victim of abuse, and that's why the two defendants in this case needed to be separated. So everyone is expecting that that's eventually going to be her defense, and that leads to the next big question here, which is will she take the witness stand if she's going to pursue this defense? Is she going to get up there on the witness stand and tell her story? If she does that, she's obviously also going to be exposed to possible cross-examination. Right, and important to know, Evan, uh, no cameras inside of the courtroom, but if I'm correct, you're gonna be inside of the courtroom uh, staying on top of it all, right? That's right, I'm gonna be in the courtroom following along. We actually have a live blog going on our website at ktvu.com. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm sure we'll be speaking with you soon. What's the timeline on this gonna be? How long possibly could this drag out? Well, right now the court has set four months aside and already in the first day of court here, it's already extended beyond what they've set aside. So I would expect this to last a very long time. All right, Fox 2's Evan Cernowski uh, reporting live for us in San Jose tonight. We will be keeping our eyes on this as it will definitely be, definitely be uh, an extensive process. Thank you for the details.